Hi everyone, our John on page and I'm starting with all kinds of bits of pieces that I've saved and I want to put in the background for details now. You don't have to have this kind of stuff like book pages and all kinds of illustrations. You can also take stamps and stamp all around your page. This is uh, what I like in this is that it's random that I use all kinds of scraps that some of it will pick through and give me interest to the background and also will give me texture but as I said you can go about it however you want it doesn't even have to be a, a non colors a, you can take colorful a, bits and pieces that you have and put it in the background so all kinds of ways to go about it. Now I'm going to glue this piece, the pieces quite randomly on the page. And as I'm gluing them, I know that some of it will get covered. They are not the focal image. It's not the point. So I can feel free to just play with it and just put all kinds of pieces on my page just having fun with it a piece of a music sheet and I'm uh, gluing with what plain white glue and I'm also going on top of each piece and let's see what else let's put another piece What else? Let's do something with this one. It doesn't even uh, matter if the text that you have is in the correct way. It can be upside down. It can be a vertical. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be text at all. That's why I said that you can use stamps and it really doesn't even matter what stamps, just have details in the background. Let's see, I think I'm going to use some of this. but not all of it maybe 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 let's see you can also use pieces of washi tape to add some interest here I like to have horizontal and vertical elements so it's even more interesting and overlapping and let's do another one Yeah. 
I like it. Maybe just a few more. Let's spread some more of this. I really like how it's looking on the page. Again, it can be uh, covered. Not sure everything will show through. It's a little bit crooked, but never mind. Last one. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Moving on. Now, next I'm going to put some gesso on my page in between all these pieces. A mostly to blend them and have less of straight uh, edges to everything and to make everything come together so let's take some gesso and let's see okay so I'm just going to use my finger. You can take a, a brush if you don't like uh, using your fingers <laughs> with paint and gesso. I'm not even uh, waiting for my glue to dry. I don't care. I'm just going to work it like this. In between. And I'm planning to add a little bit of water to the gesso afterwards and going on, on all over all the pieces I've got glued here it's to push it back so they are not so prominent I want the details I don't want them to steal the spotlight best explanation I can give you Because the glue is still wet, it, I, it blends with the gesso and it just helps me um, spread everything and blend it. And sometimes if I don't like a piece, I can always cover it. If I think something is not working, you can always cover it with gesso or just bring in another piece that you like and cover it or with paint, whatever works for you. It's a little bit sticky as you can see because of the glue that is wet. Never mind. Continuing. <laughs> Making a mess. My gesso is uh, quite thick. It's old. It's the bottom of the jar of gesso. So it also gives me some kind of a uh, texture. When I'm using a, my finger, if you use a brush, there will be more texture. So up to you what you like to do. If you want to utilize it to get more a texture, you can. So, yeah, I like this mess. Now I'm just going to wipe my finger so I can move on to some brush and go over the pieces let's see brush with a little bit of water I always have a jar of water to the side here if it's just to put the brushes until I get to clean them or if I need water so I just added water to my gesso and I'm 
going over the pieces and pushing them back so they won't be so prominent. And as you can see, I'm doing it quite quickly. Nothing to it, just covering. And I'm doing it lightly. If I feel it needs more, then I will get more gesso and go over. And if I, I think I've covered too much, I can always go in with the baby wipe and just remove some as long as it's wet you can play with it yeah um, okay like it and now I'm debating if to move on to the paint and work on wet or if I want to uh, let it dry I think I let it dry because I have also a glue and I don't like the glue to uh, mix with the paint so I'll let it dry and then I'll come back Okay, so page is dry and I'm going to use watercolors because they are translucent and I want to keep uh, most of the what I have in the background. You can use diluted acrylics, sprays, whatever you have that is not opaque. And if it's opaque, then uh, if it can be uh, diluted with water, then go for it. So starting and i think i will spray a little bit of water just to help my watercolors spread and let's start i think i will go with this color and i need more water and basically i'm just putting it down again quite randomly and I don't care where it's going I'm letting it do its thing spraying to let it spread and go places and here is where it gets really a uh, fun when you have texture because it will just help create more interesting patterns maybe I needed a bigger brush but never mind I will just go with it the um, watercolor kit I've bought on Aliexpress there is no brand I just uh, had a search for a watercolor kit and found this one with lots of uh, shades that I like and that's it so next I want a little bit here so as you can see you you can uh, still see the details in the back when you spray on watercolors they spread and it looks a little bit more organic and you have less brush uh, strokes that can be seen that's what I like about it if you have brushes then it's even better I don't have brushes and don't quite uh, get my hands on <laughs> brushes so I'm using watercolors okay next
So as long as I'm doing this, you can see where I put it, but when I'm spraying it, then it spreads and it can also mix with other color and create other nice things. Or you can help it along <laughs> with the brush. Just playing and having fun with it. And of course there is also the page underneath that is absorbing some of the water and it's getting all kinds of <laughs> wrink not wrinkles it works so it also creates puddles now if you like the puddles you can keep them if you don't you can also take a baby wipe and absorb some of it just don't look for perfection with watercolors let it do its thing and have fun with it yeah I re really like what's going on here and maybe just a little bit yellow I think so it would be even brighter but I'm only putting it down In little bits I don't want the yellow to be on most of the page just like highlights to where I've put the um, orange yeah I have a puddle here let's see I've got some paper towels on hand right now so yeah no puddle not a big one sometimes I put too much water just to add it spread so you can always fix it okay so I like what's going on here I'm going to let it be that's it i'm going to let this dry and then we'll continue i'll be back okay so finally it's dry and i still want to work on my background and add more uh, layers and i'm working again with well transparency or things that are translucent and i'm uh, taking this uh, distress ink seedless preserve and this stencil and I want to add it to several places on my page this uh, shade that I used of the watercolor is a little bit more pinkish than uh, I wanted it to be so I'm taking this and in areas that I have this I'm going to work uh, let's see if I have a brush I'm using this makeup brush uh, mostly because it's uh, more subtle and again this is part of the background I don't want it to be uh, something that will overwhelm my page and I'm just lifting to see what's going on I can do a little bit more here and it just adds a little bit more details and interest to my page again if you don't like it if it's too much for you <laughs> then you can just skip it oh yeah I like it so just in the areas that I have this color that just turned out a little bit too much pink for my taste yes and I like it moving on 
and I think I want it turned out so well that maybe uh, I will use this one to add a little bit more cotton let's see I think I have this is spiced marmalade and I need to pick some sponge or whatever another this is a makeup sponge I don't know if it will be enough to create some pattern eh, you can hardly see it I think I'll just do a little bit and leave it be it's not really doing enough but again I don't want to use something that will uh, won't go with the rest of the background so yeah don't know if you can see it uh, it's so subtle okay so now I'm uh, going a little bit more um, obvious <laughs> on the background and this is one of my stencils that I make I uh, cut them by hand and this is acetate and I've cut them with nail scissors and I've got two shades here I've got broken china and cracked pistachio and another a uh, makeup brush and I'm thinking of doing a little bit on the background and basically I'm like uh, blending these two shades because I don't have something that will make turquoise that is turquoise in the distress ink so I'm just using this to to create something yeah I like it I just need to be a little bit more a uh, subtle with what I'm doing and just another one here it really needs a stem so I will take some kind of marker or a gel roll pen, whatever, just so I can add a stem and make it a little bit more. And let's see, what do I have? Maybe just a felt pen would be enough. I'm just rolling with it. It really doesn't matter too much. And it, again, it doesn't need to be precise or anything. Okay, just so there will be a little bit more definition. I don't know why, but it turned out a little bit wet, all this. The, usually when I use the distress ink they are dry I don't know maybe because all the layers I've got underneath all good just rolling with it as I said okay starting to take shape Yeah. 
just going around so it will be a little bit more defined Okay, so I'm letting it be because it really is wet. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm letting it dry a little bit and then we'll move on to the focal image or maybe I can just move it here. So focal image, I have printed this from some website. I really don't remember which and there are lots of free printables all you have to do is do a search wherever you want if it's uh, just google or if it's pinterest for free printables and flowers or whatever and you can find just it's like going the down the rabbit hole so i have this and i want to use it as a silhouette i don't want all of this uh, especially this is not my art it's someone else's I just want to use it as a silhouette so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a fussy cutting it and once it's completely cut what I'm going to do is just a uh, paint it uh, with black and then I will have a silhouette it's the easiest way to do a silhouette. Now, I'm not really concerned about all the little bitty details. I'm not going to do all of them. Uh, what I'm, uh, I care about is the general shape of a leaf or a petal. So, I won't be here all day just trying to get into all the details. This leaf has jagged edges, but I'm not really interested in this. I am just going with the shape of the leaf or the petal, whatever it is. And when you are doing something like this, you can just decide what is important to you and what isn't it you don't have to uh, stay with every detail that is in it now it doesn't even have to be printed from the internet it can be from magazines brochures whatever you like you want a a figure on your page and you want it a silhouette you can Take a magazine, cut some image, and just paint it black. And of course, if you've got stencil that you like, again, you can uh, just stencil with black and you've got a silhouette. But I really like the overall shape of this, so that's what I decided to go with doing a silhouette. I'm again using a uh, nail scissors. It's easier to do uh, curvy lines with this and they are thinner and easier to handle when you need to cut curvy and little shapes. So I'm just going to continue with this and then I'm going to paint it black. Now you can paint it with just plain black acrylic paint or you can uh, take a permanent black marker and go over it all whatever is easier for you now when you're making a silhouette it, it doesn't even have to be all black you can decide on another color a darker color or something that will be prominent on your page and create a silhouette really up to you so I'm going to just finish this 
and hope my background is completely dry and I'll be back so as, as you can see is uh, I just went and cut out the image and I'm going with this permanent black marker just because I want, didn't want to deal with more wet paint it's just easier and at the end of the day this is just printer paper so again just easier coloring it with black permanent marker than to deal with wet paint on printer paper so here we go now I want to just again I'm because it's just printer paper I'm going to use just glue stick at the back so I won't have to deal with more <laughs> wet things and with this curling but again I need to be careful I'm trying <laughs> it's already curling of course another way to go about it is to put the glue on the page and then put down the image the focal point Again, didn't want to deal with more wet stuff like white glue. So now I have to deal with curling paper. So here we are. And I don't want it in the center. I want it a little bit to the side. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for... If, um, here we go some plastic sheet just so I can yeah smooth it without putting glue on me yeah okay mostly done I think a little bit in the edges another one here not exactly in place yeah okay now finale just want a little bit of this washi tape that has the word love on it and I'm thinking just, I don't know, nope. I'm putting it here like this and I think I'll just add it I don't know <laughs> if I should have done it but this is just can't stop just looks like it it needs something so here we go if I don't like it I will remove it it's just washi tape for so this is it that's my page hope you liked it hope you have fun doing something with things that are a uh, translucent and build up the layers and have fun with it so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.